You know, it probably would help if I turned the capture on. Probably would help. Okay. Sorry for the trippiness. I think I've got it working. Let's play. A crisis has arisen. Unity's undercover operatives are being killed off by an unknown assailant. It seems likely that there's a traitor within the agency. Report to the war room for a full briefing on the situation and a tactical overview of your upcoming mission. Do not be late. Following the briefing, stop by the training facility to hone your skills. I almost wonder if there's some penalty for taking too long looking at things. Let's go. Oh, we're in Irk Scratch. John Patrick Lowry, I know that guy. That actor, anyway.
Wait, is she wearing a piece of hair Damn. thing in the shower? I, mean, I don't Hello. know what those are called. The little hair holder oh, things? Oh no, how's France? Did you collect any new bullet holes? I know how you love to be shot at. I'm teasing. I'm glad you're not damaged. Did you at least encounter an exotic temptress or two? Really? What was her name? What do you mean you don't remember? That's horrible. Of course, I'm famished. Are you buying? Then it's a date. Let's say Maximilian's in half an hour. Ciao. I'm not very happy, you know. It's not like I thought it would be. I never promised it would be as exhilarating as your former trade, only that it would keep you out of jail and make it easier to sleep at night. More wine? You're the first female operative Unity has ever employed. The committee is old-fashioned. They need time to get used to the idea of a woman in this line of work. I know all that, but at this rate I'll be a bloody grandmother before they give me a real assignment. You can always go back to burglary and pickpocketing if you can't live without excitement. Damn it, that's not what I'm saying. I just want to be challenged. I'm sick of wiretaps. I'm sick of eavesdropping on boring strangers who may or may not pose some trivial threat to international security because they forgot to declare a ham sandwich in Heathrow. I don't have the patience for it. It's not what I'm good at. It's never fun paying one's dues, but we all have to endure a bit of frustration and tedium now and then. Builds character. I think I've paid my bloody dues. Is that what you think? God knows I loathe sermons, but I'll tell you right now that you'll never stop paying your dues. Not ever. I'm sorry you're not happy, but you might as well get used to it. Nobody owes you a damn thing. Mm. You make it sound like I'm some spoiled child. I'm not asking to be coddled. I just want a chance to prove myself. You're right. I know it's been hard for you, but I'm confident you'll get your chance. All the petty politics in the world won't hold you back. They've done an outstanding job so far, haven't they? You see? What did I tell you? Probably just one of the committee members needing a babysitter on short notice. <laughs> Ye of little faith. I'll see you there. Why don't we go together? I have an errand to attend to first. You go on ahead. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay, so for some reason... Whatever. Turning on V-Sync... Messes. Your sensitivity quite a bit. That's still a little bit high. Also, I'm sorry for the epilepsy. That feels acceptable. Good afternoon, Miss Archer. They're expecting you in the briefing room. Are they now? Very day sexy. Wait a minute, we've got uh, this calendar with tanks on it. Thick. Little doll. Oh, she has little Z's coming off her. Isn't that cute? What's she got in there? Some trig, maybe? That's the briefing room. This is the training facility. Hey, this bounce thing when you jump is kind of annoying. Agent Archer, how thoughtful of you to join us. I hope we aren't inconveniencing you too awfully with me. I like how the other guy kind of looks like Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Yeah, come on, you gotta be sassy. Not at all, Mr. Smith, but it's charming of you to mention it. It is not my ambition to be charming. Well, that's fortunate. I would advise you to watch your tongue. Well, if it isn't the inimitable Agent Lowry. Sorry I'm late, Smithy. You're looking dapper today. Spare me the disingenuous flattery, old boy. It doesn't suit you. I was being sincere. It was the one polite thing I could think to say. You're still upset with me, aren't you? I assure you, I have nothing against you personally. You've served us well for many years. But perhaps too many. 
I firmly believe it is in Unity's best interest that you retire from field operations and I will continue to campaign to that end until you accept an administrative position. I'm not upset with you, Smithy. I just don't like you. I do understand your concern, but just because you're too old for the field doesn't mean that I am. Until I'm declared unfit for duty, I will continue to prove it. I retired voluntarily. Of course you did. Perhaps we should dispense with the pleasantries and get down to brass tacks. Fine. Lights, please. We lost another agent this afternoon, bringing the total to seven operatives in ten days. It is our firm belief that someone is systematically eliminating our undercover agents, which leads us to believe that the clandestine operations section has been compromised. It seems we have a traitor in our midst. Do you suspect anyone? We suspect everyone. Seven operatives? That's over half the active list. Why weren't we informed sooner? You're being informed now. This situation has unfolded rather abruptly. The assassin left a lily, a regal finale, to be precise, on or near the corpse of each victim. Mean anything to either of you? Volkov. Who? Dmitry Volkov. The regal finale is his calling card. The name's familiar. What do we know about him? He's a right bastard. Anything more specific? Just what's in his file. Born in Kamchatka in 1921. Distinguished himself as an academic prodigy and master chess player by the age of eight, by which time he'd also earned notoriety for refining various torture techniques on neighbors' pets. It seems he joined the NKVD in 37 and served as some sort of disciplinarian in a gulag near Kiev. His whereabouts during the war are unknown except for a brief mention in 43 when he was spotted by an OSS officer at Leningrad interrogating prisoners of war who would later disappear without a trace. Ah, yes. I remember this fellow. We've had dealings with him before. Sometime after the war, he emerged again, this time in the employ of Smirsch. He's personally credited with well over a thousand executions, spies and Soviet dissidents for the most part. In 61, a failed assassination attempt left him without an eye. He was shot in the face at close range by one of our finest agents. You flatter me, but I shouldn't have missed. He escaped by throwing himself off a 70-foot cliff into an icy river. It was presumed that he survived, as no body was ever recovered. In fact, rumor has it, he's currently working for an organization calling itself Harm, as Director of Executive Action. I don't have to tell you what that means. What do we know about Harm? Unfortunately, there's very little about them in our files. Well, despite the obvious risks, we still have a job to do. In this case, a very important one. Wet work. Precisely. And after this recent catastrophe, the two of you are our only available assets. To be perfectly frank, Agent Archer, you're only getting this assignment because we've no other choice. Because everyone Matters else is dead. Delicacy aren't really the sort of thing we would usually entrust to a woman. Mm -hmm. Emotional inconstancy and assassination do not make especially good bedfellows, if nope. you take my meaning. Eh. I'll try to surpass your expectations. Considering that I expect you to fail miserably, you shouldn't have to try very hard. Oh. Enough of this. Time is of the essence. Stop by the toy shop before you go. They have some new gizmos you might find useful. Gizmos? Don't too long, though. Your flight leaves at 6 p.m. Where are we going? Morocco. <sighs> Agent Archer, what does harm stand for? I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> See if you can't find out. And be careful, both of you. I mean, don't you want to get some intel on that and not just... Oh, I'm trying to figure it out as if it's a crossword puzzle or the Daily Jumble. Can I interact with stuff? Doesn't look like it. prohibited. You Three. do not have clearance for this area. I am an agent. And the movement in this game stinks. I, mean, I guess your walk speed could be slower. 
Oh, this is my run speed. Oh, whatever. I am glad that holding it does do that. It's not a toggle thing. That would be your thing. Yeah, I can't jump on the thing. Oh, I bet there's bunny hopping in this if you do it right. advise that you go through the training course before embarking on your first mission. There are many nuances and features you may overlook otherwise. I can't see a month on that calendar. Training, just head to the oh, it's September. Wait, wait, wait. What? Advanced field time. I want to go to advanced field tactics, though. I want to do my training, just like Luke. Oh, I gotta go to basic first, probably. So, do you think the CT-180 will get a decent field rating? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Have you seen the commission form for that thing? Oh, blimey. They everything that the TR-60 and TR-61 can do. All in one. Welcome to Basic Field Tactics. This course comprises several areas, each with its own lesson. You must complete each lesson in order to proceed. Now step up to the active station designated by the flashing light. Your crosshair will change to indicate an item that can be activated. All right, now open the door to the next area. Bystanders will often speak to you if you activate them. Sometimes they will share useful information. Sometimes they just want to chat. Be sure to conceal any obvious weapon or they'll be too distressed to talk. Try activating Leon. Well done. All right, now open the door to the next area. If you want to skip a cutscene, simply press the space bar. Congratulations! You've completed the basic field tactics course. You should now continue to the advanced field tactics area, where you will receive specific instruction for your upcoming mission. Note that new simulations will be prepared for you before each mission. <laughs> Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Keep an eye out for ammunition boxes. Each can contain various ammunition types. Once the box is empty, it will disappear. You won't have the opportunity to heal while on a mission, so you'll need to rely on body armor to protect yourself from damage. Be warned that certain types of damage will ignore armor completely, though, such as that sustained from falling or running out of oxygen. Mm. All right, now open the door to the next area. While on a mission, always keep an eye out for miscellaneous intelligence items that might be of benefit to us. Here are some of the items you should look for. The more you recover, the better your mission rating will be. Pick up these intelligence items to proceed. Yeah. All right, now open the door to the next area. You may occasionally be called upon to arm or disarm explosive devices. Simply activate the device to enable or disable it as necessary. Okay, so day is 
Disarm these mock explosives in order to proceed. All right, now open the door to the next area. <laughs> to move as quietly as possible to avoid detection. The faster you move, the louder your footsteps will be. It is therefore advisable to walk or move in a crouch when you're trying to be discreet. Which one's better? I heard you. Step behind the yellow line to reset the simulation. Step behind the yellow line to reset the simulation. Done. The volume of your footsteps can be modified by the material upon which you're moving. I like that. Be careful of tile, metal, and other hard surfaces. Whenever possible, favor carpet or turf. All right. Now open the door to the next area. Oh, that glass. That's gonna shatter. Wow, you're pretty light-footed. If you're not sure what to expect around a corner, it is generally safe to step out for a moment to see what's up ahead. As long as you duck back quickly, you probably won't be spotted. Of course, the closer you are to an enemy, the more likely it is that you'll be seen, so listen for footsteps or conversation before leaving cover. Can't you do any better than that? Yeah. Step behind the yellow line to reset the simulation. Excellent. Proceed to the next course. Privileges, all personal calls must be logged and sent to the accounting. Use your flashlight to find your way to the door. Ah. What flashlight? Again, I'm sorry for the epilepsy, but I don't see anything in here for a flashlight. Unless it's one of my weapons? Why would that be the case? I don't see it here. I don't have a flashlight. Okay. So L. Wait a minute. Yeah, whatever. I'm assuming my enemies could see my flashlight, right? Your flashlight is an effective tool, but it can also give away your position. Try not to let enemies see the beam. But I want to go to the gun range. 
For the gadget lab, at least. Did, didn't the guy say that, oh, you might want to take a look at those gizmos? I mean, that's what he told me. I want to go to the firing range, too, but I guess not. I guess n Wait. Aha! Excellent. Hello, Kate. How are you? Smithy wants me to run you through a basic firearms refresher course. Mm. Coat pistol cartridge, making it less lethal than most rifles, but it compensates in subtlety what it lacks in punch. Ah, uh, forty five is got enough punch, thanks. about firearms. If the dynamic crosshair option is enabled in the menu, you can gauge your accuracy by the relative size of your crosshair. The larger it is, the worse your aim will be. The next function key is very important. With it, you can cycle through the available ammunition types for a given weapon. More importantly, it cycles through a gadget's various functions. For example, it allows you to toggle between the barrettes, lockpick, and weapon modes. Learn to monitor your ammunition. Reload your weapon between firefights to make sure you don't run empty at inopportune moments. You can shoot through certain walls, objects. Of course, doing so may affect the accuracy, range, and velocity of the shot, but it's sometimes preferable to dispatch an enemy before he sees you. Keep an eye out for these materials. Fire. 
If you're ever in doubt, look at your crosshair. It will change to indicate the person you're targeting is friendly. Use the holster weapon key to conceal your weapon rapidly. If your weapon is already holstered, hitting this key will draw the last weapon you had out. Santa's workshop. I do this. Jeez. Damn. Uh, wait. Sorry for the epilepsy again. I don't mean to do this. Uh. Oh, okay. Get wrecked. Poison capsule. Cubicles from section four. Oh. The barrette can also be used as a weapon by hitting the next function key. When you slash an adversary, the pressure on the blade releases a small amount of toxin into his bloodstream. Quite deadly. Did I do it? supposed to work oh well what do you think a spare bit of change can come in very handy when you need to distract someone practice tossing this coin to divert the guards attention Try not to throw it off any high ledges. Heard someone, hello? Hello, must have been my imagination, I suppose. A judicious agent doesn't leave corpses lying about as they tend to arouse suspicion. 
Judging by your slight frame, you won't have much no. luck hauling bodies away. So we've come up with this special body removing powder just for you. Yeah. Sprinkle a bit of it on dead tissue and voila. The cadaver will vaporize almost instantly. I've done it all. All ready to go, eh? Yeah. Well, have a safe mission and come back in one piece. Okay. Twelve sixteen items. Intelligence has discovered that the American ambassador to West Germany, Morris Monroe, is marked for execution by an organization calling itself H-A-R-M, or HARM. The assassination attempt is expected to come on the last day of Monroe's upcoming holiday in Morocco, as he is leaving his hotel. There will likely be multiple assailants. It is imperative that Monroe survive the attack. Be warned, though, that the ambassador is extremely nearsighted and almost deaf, so you won't be able to rely on him to realize that he's in danger. You will be positioned in a residential building across the street from the hotel. Your job is to pick off the assassins before they liquidate Monroe. This is incredibly stupid. I can't have that. nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. Mm. Turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant. He'd sold us out for a measly 50 quid. Fifty quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. I would have demanded at least seventy. Compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot of his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Monroe's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me, uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime, the time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Howard! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? That would be lovely. To your left, on the far balcony. I want to go home. That we've only been here for two days. On the roof to your left. Here. Why not? It's so foreign. On the roof well, to your left. It is a foreign country. Canada's a foreign country too. wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah. 
Why don't you try to relax? Damn, I'm awesome. I'll bet you have a lot of fun if you just stop wondering. Think so? Sure. Maybe you're right. Uh oh. On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. I like how these guys are just running around like idiots. To your left, on the far balcony. Straight ahead, to the left of the tower. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower. On your left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony. Wait, what? On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. To your left, on the far balcony. Wait, we should have boatloads of evidence to collect off their corpses. I totally haven't liquefied or gasified yet. What have we here? On your right, street level. You think they'd have more than one sniper covering this guy, but. I switched weapons for no reason. Damn it. Would you like me to call out the targets for you? Where's the challenge in that? I just hope there are enough to keep me busy. You may regret that sentiment. Oh, it's randomized. Yeah. What's going on with this guy? You notice the shots, I guess? Hmm.
So these assassins aren't noticing that they're getting killed one by one. <laughs> Riff Raff! Oh, jeez. There must be a hole in my pocket! Ten bullets. Let's reload. Apartment, what? Oh, I can't. Did you say apartment six, I thought. I heard he plans to marry the American girl. In position. Good. He's almost there. Right. Here he comes. Get ready. I'm ready. He's down. What? What? I've gotta do this over? Ah, uh, you've gotta be kidding so, me. Are you, are you enjoying yourself yet? Would you like me to call out the targets for you? Where's the challenge in that? I just hope there are enough to keep me busy. You may regret that sentiment. Okay, so I'll save you. Ah! Irritating. Irritating. Oh well. Go home. But we've only been here for two days. I don't like it here. Yeah. Why not? It's so foreign. Well, it is a foreign country. I know that. But Canada's a foreign country too, and isn't this foreign? Yeah. But I thought the reason you wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah. Why don't you try to relax and enjoy it? I'll bet you'll have a lot of fun if you just stop worrying. Think so? Sure. Maybe you're right. Of yes, course I'm Bernie. right. Where Let's walk time? down to the Medina and see some sights. Okay.
<laughs> I like this guy's lines. I like how they stand in the same spot over and over again. It's just he's walking on the corpses of so many of his former compatriots. I'll cover him for the next stretch. Get to apartment 12 and wait for my signal. Over oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon. You'll cause a commotion. Eight Archer, commotion causer. Pardon me. Good. He's almost there. There was armor here last time. More! Does you cost too much? Not again! Where are you, you pesky little dime? Oh, I'm so glad the leg shots count. I'd better find it quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures. Car. Excellent shooting. You don't have to tell me that. I was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn, they must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. And my high heels right. and everything. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers. <laughs> well, be sure to check the mail before you go.
I mean, the corpses fade anyway, I suppose that's the point. Can run out of body remover? Alright, fine. Nope. This is where I was. Alright. Shut up. Just do as I say, you idiot. Russian. You look like you need a monkey. Excuse me. I have a very fine monkey for you. Only $20 American. Sorry, I don't want a monkey. What do you mean? I don't want a monkey. <laughs> Shoot the monkey. Okay, that feels straight out of Deus Ex. Wonderful. So is Clark. Second honeymoon for us both. Our marriage has never been better. Martha. Aww. Oop. Can't even get decent reception in this place. Fortunate. Haven't seen you, okay? you around. I would definitely remember. What did I tell you about flirting? I wasn't flirting, I was just making an observation. Oh, horse pucky. I'm serious. <laughs> Come on, honey. You're the only flower in my garden. I'm not falling for that. You're sleeping on the floor tonight. What? Why? I'm not speaking to you. 
Ah, come on. Don't start that again. Need to do a sassy I'm walk away. To you. Fine. Have it your way. A little silence might be refreshing. Oh! Hey, wait. We have the same hairdo. Woman, you have style. I kindly don't notice while I, uh, pick this lock. What we got here? Posted photographs of Agents Laurie and Archer on the bulletin board. Study them carefully. If you fail to recognize the subjects, I'll assume something is wrong with your eyes and remove them for you. I like this guy. Good villain. Should probably stop ingesting hallucinogens. Where the hell is this guy? Ollie, ollie, oxen free. Can't talk to her. There's something wrong with that face. Who is there? I'm hearing things. the music signified. Ah, you've been spotted. Where is this bastard? Huh? This stupid machine took my change. Well, at least it didn't give you lemon lime. Mr. Volkov said the girl will be here soon. How will we recognize her? You didn't see the photograph on the bulletin board? What photograph? Bon Dieu! I'm sorry, nobody told me. Mr. Volkov was very specific at the meeting this morning. He said, be sure to study the photograph on the bulletin board. If you fail to recognize her, I'll assume something is wrong with your eyes and remove... <laughs> Body remover. to have misled you.
you care for a frosty beverage? No thanks. Perhaps later. Mm. Oh, crap. What sort of getaway did you have in mind? Something quiet and romantic. Listen, lady, I need information. Hey, where are these? Yeah, hey, whatever. Is it these two again? This vacation is exactly what I needed. I wanted to go to France, but Clark insisted on coming to Morocco. Yeah, have fun, you two. I want to get out and see the Medina, but it's so hot outside. Now, you guys. I don't know. Madam Sasha. Any sign of her yet? Nope. Damn, I gotta pee. Well, go then. What if she shows up while I'm in the rest? Go. Are you okay? That's a cool touch. I should be able to go in the ladies' room. I guess the implication is there's already somebody in there. An eye patch, huh? Armor. Oh crap. Portion of the Unity CTA and any of that. Francis Javier. Eh, I guess if they're panicked, they can't talk to you. Right. Now, look, we're good. See, I'm not gonna shoot you. Ah, oh, crap. Rise. Now is she permanently just oh. those goons in the hall act like they've never seen a woman before? I'll take care of these goons. Are you all right? As I suspected. I guess you could bypass them, maybe. Ah! Oh. Shit. Peter, we're going to meet you. He's over here.
do I ever get ammo for this pistol? Because I like it a lot. Unless there's armor. I shouldn't shoot my buddy. I have a bad feeling about this, though. My partner gonna die now. I don't want that to happen. I don't really get that impression. I think we're gonna save him till later, but jeez. I... Check this area first. worry. Can you blame me? You're like an errant child. And you're like a fussy aunt. You could at least leave my gender intact. Mm. A fussy uncle, then. Thank you. I'm having fun. I can see that. But don't get reckless. I murdered probably yet. 40 people. I know. This place is crawling with thugs. Damn it. They find us. We've been betrayed. It's the only explanation. Or Are followed. you sure you weren't followed? Yes, positive. If they know about the hotel, they'll probably be waiting for us at the coast. We'll have to risk it. If we aren't aboard the Abigail when she sails, we'll have to get out of Morocco on our own. Or you could stay here. Permanently. No, no. Volkov! Get down! Let's go! I have dreamed about this day for six years. <laughs> Is that why you're holding the gun in the crook of your elbow? I only regret I do not have time to make your demise more eventful. After him. This is all my fault. If you hadn't been worrying about me, he never would have got the drop on you. <sighs> Silly girl. Worrying about you is all I have left. Don't say that. I've always had plenty to die for. You've given me something to live for. Then okay. live. In your memory, perhaps. Bruno! The girl's in the lobby. Kill her! But why didn't you kill her, Mr. Volkov? I meant to. But my hunger for revenge distracted me. Let that be a lesson not to be ruled by your emotions. Mm. Excellent advice, sir. Well, I'll go to her now. Make sure there are no witnesses. Uh -huh. You mean we should kill everybody? First, kill everybody. Then, destroy the hotel. Let our enemies search the rubble for answers. They shall find none. Uh, disarm the explosive. Crap. Where are the explosives? Where's the bomb? A bomb! Damn. Let me save that one. Crap. How am 
much you can do for stealth here. Yep. But I've got to deal with the bomb. There's no carpet anywhere in armor. Unacceptable civilian casualties. I see. That's okay, I don't mind saving from this point. Just doing this part better would be good. Rip, Bubsy. Rip. You know, this game would be kind of perfect for a lean feature. Okay, hold on a sec. Controls. Where's the quick save? Oh, okay, I just had to go. Okay. Again, sorry about the whatever. I don't see a quick save here. Really dumb that I have to approve the thing after I hit. Yeah, I want to override it. Oh, you want to name it something else? No, not really. Don't worry, does the little status screen fuck things up too? It probably does. Yep. It does. There's a pity. I've killed 75 people. Take a bullet, man. Oh. 
What is this? Are you okay? How am I supposed to save him? Oh, did I do it? I did it! I think. You can't hide from me, Volkov. I'll find you wherever you go. Kill her, you incompetent fools! This game's save system sucks donkey dick. Yes. Wait. I didn't save him. Shit. Yeah, I don't remember these assholes last time. What the piss? That was ridiculous. Next time, I'm definitely going with uh, a different gun. Carbine is too great a reload time. I'm glad you're still okay, chump. Why did they go aggro on me? A bomb.
Yikes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I have no idea if that's intentional. Okay, how to say No idea where Volkov is. Is this gonna give me a? Oh, you lost Volkov. You failed. Hmm. I don't think they do it that way. Stop panicking, I saved the day already in the sector. What? Where do I go from here? This is the way I was supposed to go all along? I don't think so, though.
At some point, there's going to be a door that opens. bullets of this thing. Wheels out. <laughs> okay. Huh? Who are you? Good afternoon. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. I have been trained to resist all forms of torture. We'll see about that. Do your worst. I'm going to ask you nicely. Where can I find Volkov? Nice try, but I'll tell you nothing. I'll ask again. Where can I find Volkov? And I'll say again, nice try, but I'll tell you nothing. I'll ask you one last time. Where? Can I find Volkov? What kind of two-dimensional halfwit do you take me for? You think I'll tell you something just because you asked me three times? I have a master's degree in economics from Princeton University. <laughs> I'm not some idiot, you know. You don't even know where he is, do you? Yes, I do. What was I thinking? Why would Dmitri Volkov tell a lackey like you where he was going? Dmitri and I are very close. Very close. Mm-hmm. I don't appreciate being called a lackey. I work very hard. It's not easy being a criminal, you know. There's a great deal of pressure. Goodbye. Wait, wait, don't go. I don't know where Volkov is, but I do have something you may be interested in. It should only take about 15 minutes to get to the airport. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Excuse me? Not on your life, you scoundrel. 
I'm an American citizen. We have morals in America. I don't understand what you're talking about. This is unbearable. Pull over this instant. I'd rather walk to the airport than listen to this film. I thought this was supposed to be a civilized country. Why would you think that? Did I get him killed? sign of her. Are you sure she's coming? She'll be here. If she gets away, I will kill any man she leaves alive. Mm. Am I understood? Explicitly. Mm. Alright. Let's save it here. And call it good for the night. This game is interesting, frustrating, See about future streams.